feel like it's a breath of fresh air. Southtown made it down here, boy. Let me explain my side of it, though. He has posted about wanting approval. Will he get that final approval? I mean, our company is called Creative Control, you know what I mean? So that tells you a lot, and that right then and there. When I talk to him, I let him know that, yo, this have to be told the way it's told. It can't be a Kanye commercial, you know, so you cannot have any creative control. This is Cootie right here. He shot all the footage. Kanye's friends and directors, Cootie Simmons and Chiki Oza, spent 21 years capturing never-before-seen footage for Genius, hitting Netflix February 16th. Ye didn't just demand creative control, he also reached out to get a former enemy involved. He was texting me and Drake, because uh, Drake, said he wanted to narrate the documentary. Obviously, Kanye didn't see the film. He told me when I seen him a week ago that that's not his process to watch, you know, to watch those things. But I felt like if he would have seen the film, he would see why it might not make sense for Drake to, to narrate it. Yay West, hot fire. One time rival Jay-Z is featured in the three-part documentary as well as Pharrell, but what about- Hi, babe. So. There's not that much of Kim, of the Kardashians. We see a little bit. Was there ever a discussion with them about sitting down for interviews for this? Who you always say, say what you always say about that. I'd say if you want to know more about the Kardashians, you can watch them on, on, on uh, whatever <laughs> network that is. The Kardashian on who? What is shown in the doc is how the loss of this family member, Mom Donda, seemed to turn a happy-go-lucky Kanye into a more tortured artist. Definitely his mom, you know, losing his mom, you know, that she was his main supporter, you know, she was everything, she was his rock. I couldn't imagine how that had to feel and, um, and in the public eye. I would like to congratulate you on the good job that you did with me. <laughs> you look at your daughter, you look at your wife and how has that fulfilled your life? It's given me a whole perspective, an understanding of what to work for, what to live for. Even when he had the house, the wife, the kids, he still had suicidal thoughts. What was it like to hear him say those things and why was that important to include? I mean, it was important to include so you understand that what the journey that he's going through, you know, the things that he, that he had to overcome. Don't play for my children and it's gonna be all legal. It's gonna be all legal, baby. He's posting about his custody stuff and things he's struggling with. Are you worried as his friend? I'm not worried at all because just throughout this whole journey, I seen that 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 Jesus is always gonna be with Kanye. When he had the car accident, when he had the mental breakdown, I'm like, oh, God got Kanye, got it. And I, I and that, from that point, I'm like, he good regardless. But hopefully, with God's blessings, there shouldn't be no way for me to lose, really.